in this video we are unlocking the power of IT automation by guiding you through installing Ansible on Fedora 40. By the end of this video you will know how to set up Ansible, configure it for your need and begin automating your system like a pro. Get ready to transform your approach to IT management with this powerful tool. Let's get started and turn you into an automation expert. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my freshly installed Fedora 40 system. It could be a desktop or it could be a server. It doesn't matter. SSH DevOps at fedoraexample.com. This is the host name. Let me enter my password and switch to the root user using sudo su. Cool. Now we can use DNF to interact with the package manager. So DNF update is already up to date my system and now I'm ready to check it out uh, the OS release. Yes, it's Fedora Linux 40 server edition. Great, just double check using Ansible dash dash version command, he return comma not found. So it really means that the software is not available in our system. Let me double check using DNF list Ansible for the community version and the available package is version 9.4 and ansible.core is uh, available on version 2.16.5. Great. These are the latest version available on the updates repository. Using DNF install we trigger the download of all the necessary dependency. As expected there are some Python dependency, especially the Jinja for the Jinja template, another interesting tool. The download proceeds smoothly and Ansible is ready to be used. Now uh, how can we verify that Ansible successfully installed? Well, the command Ansible dash dash version is going to print it out uh, the current version and as expected is 2.16.5 running on Python 3.12.3. Great. And there are also other interesting um, configuration settings that we can take a look. Now the DNF list command is going to list uh, that the package is successfully installed so you can check it out every time if you are not sure if Ansible is installed or not on your system. Great. Now Ansible is installed on our Fedora 40, it's time to make the first step in our automation journey. The fact that Ansible is available in inside the repository out of the box inside the updates also certify the commitment to Fedora to guarantee a constant update of the software and we just need to do an DNF upgrade to keep our software up to date. Every time we would like to verify if there is an update available just type it out DNF update Ansible in this case there is nothing to do it. Great, now we can move our first step in our automation journey. You need to know that the ATC Ansible directory contains the basic configuration for Ansible. In this case uh, there is nothing because we accept uh, all the default parameters and the hosts, hosts uh, file is called inventory that is actually a list of all the computers that we would like to manage with Ansible. Uh, let me add uh, some line here. The most easy and simple way to test uh, is actually add the localhost with a variable Ansible underscore connection equal local. In this way Ansible is going to connect to the localhost using the local connection and not the SSH that is the default one. Great. How we can test uh, our connection? Well using Ansible we can uh, use uh, an ad hoc command on all the server in our inventory and the command that we're gonna execute is actually the module ping. Great! Now we verify that uh, Ansible is actually running on our system and we got the result. Now the sky is your automation limit. Thank you for joining us on this journey on how to install Ansible on Fedora 30 we walk through from the basic installation to updating your server, 
installing and testing Ansible and now you are well equipped to automate and streamline your IT tasks efficiently. I can't wait to hear your success story.